is so good and so addicting this chorus gets better every single time i listen to it oh my god this is so cool the references to themselves hello everyone my name is yumo welcome back to the channel this is the third time i'm doing my intro because the other two times i forgot what my name was yeah that's a side fact for you and welcome to today's album reaction to idols i love we recently checked out Mute here on the channel, the title track for this album, and let me tell you, I love it. The song is great, I listened to it a couple of times on my own now and without the video. The video and the concept though I think are what stands out for me and most people. It is so unique, never done before, such a cool message and just very very artsy. I love it. And today we're gonna be reacting to the video, we're gonna listen to new for this well, again, because I want to um, look at some of the lyric distribution. I also looked at who produced what, because these days I feel like it's almost just them doing their songs with a couple of other people coming in. Especially in terms of lyrics, I looked it up like only on the song called Sculpture, there's a lyricist called Houdini working on it. The others, at least according to Wikipedia, that is. Um, for lyrics, for nude we have Soyon, for love we have Soyon, for change we have Mini and Soyon, for reset we have Soyon, um, for sculpture we then have Soyon and Mini and Houdini, and for Dark X Files we have Soyon. Like, it is just them doing the lyrics and producing credits for the first two. Go in terms of members, we have Soyon for nude and love, then we have Mini on change, Ugi, my queen. Uh, on reset, Mini again on Sculpture, and then Ugi again on Dark X Files. So Mini, Ugi, and Soyon working on a lot of these songs as lyrics, uh, for lyrics and the producing of it, I guess. Guys, enough talking. Uh, let's swap the scene. And yeah, guys, if you do not want to miss any further idol reactions that I put here on my channel, and we do share an interest in loving idol, please consider subbing to the channel. Would love to have more nevies in my community. And yeah, with that being said, guys, let's listen to Nude again, because this song is a bang. I love this intro bit. I've been singing it along ever since. I love her power. Also, I want to read more into the lyrics of the song because I've barely caught them in MV. Oh, you even heard a boo in the in the wah that. Sorry, I I clicked the I clicked the I think back button. No, those are all the previous reactions I did. Sorry, I have a hotkey on my mouse. Um, that let that goes back in the browser and I hit that sadly um, So let me go back because I thought like she's talking about um, Booing and I think you can even hear the booing in the audio of the song never noticed that before In the next verse I think Yeah, that's so cool. I never noticed that before It's so good and so addicting. This chorus gets better every single time I listen to it. Shoo on this part though. Shoo Such a cool reference by Sion again. She is, she's a vir virtuous. Like, she's so extra of it and love it. Yes. 
I also love how the parts are separated. I feel like in terms, there's a structure to the song and everyone gets a certain part of the song once, I think. I think this how do I look part, Neon, Mini and Ugi have it, I think. And Shua in the first one, yeah. Yeah, everyone has this part once, which is such a cool distribution. You could have easily given it to the same member every time, but they decided not to, which is great. I can't get over the nude, nude, nude. Hopefully I remember to edit it in. Great one. Great, great, great song. But let's get into the ones that I don't know yet. Starting out with love. Hey ex-boyfriend, hi ex. Yaku is style, I'm time I don't You have to get back, get back. I get you mama lab is perfect. I have to say it. <laughs> Funny how this album literally released after their world tour. Which didn't come to you, sadly. I'd have seen them at Gamble Kicks, it's fine. Oh. Love where the song is going. Oh, yes, this chorus. Oh, that's a that's love the sound of this. I love how these verses are so chill. Oh my god, this is so cool, the references to themselves. Even I think I'm really great. You better believe you are really great. Have that self-confidence. I think I've fallen into myself. Self-love. That looks good. To the point where it goes into narcissism, then it's not that good anymore. Oh, I love this chorus. That's such a cool song about self-love. My freaking voice cracked, I'm sorry. That's such an interesting way of putting it and delivering this message. I love it. Just idle things, dude. And even with the ending of like, this is my I love, with the album called I love, it is amazing. I am already in love with this song. It is so creative. Soyon, what have you done again? I love it. The message of the song was insane. The song itself was really, really nice as well. I loved the chorus and the whole story that was uh, told here about loving yourself and them 
pulling their spin on it is everything. It's so neatly tied together. I love it. 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 I love this group. On to the next song. This one being called Changed, and this is the one by Soyan and Mini. Oh. This sounds dark. Again, this, this beat is something. I got the chills on that part, bro. Her voice will never not amaze me. Definitely sounds like a mini song, for sure. It reminds me of one certain song that I can't think of right now. I'll look it up after. in English? I think Soyan's rap part was in Korean, but I noticed that I'm only mostly reading English here. Shua sounds so great on this album, honestly. I think the chorus was given to almost everyone at this point. I love the distribution. I can't say that it was given to everyone, so I said almost. But it feels like it. Oh, that's an abrupt ending. Holy moly. Wow. Okay. I f think the song that I was thinking of... I'm, I'm gonna have to look it up. Be right back. Okay, I initially don't didn't want to, to open this up because it doesn't add, add to the aesthetic of the video but i was thinking of dahlia even though the the song don't really sound alike i think there was parts of me that gave me that dahlia vibe and not only did i look it up and it was written and composed by mini it was also done by breadbeat who also did change so we literally had the mini breadbeat combo on change and dahlia and i think this was the song there was certain passages obviously these songs in general and overall they don't really sound alike but i think there's certain passages that reminded me of dahlia and to see then that it's literally mini and breadbeat together again it's kind of cool to see uh but yeah great song i loved again message been great the song's a bit a little bit more on the chill side even though like the the instrumental was like constantly there 
I think it's it's the snare you constantly got got to take. Really, really cool song. All right, uh, let's head to the next one. Next up, we have the song that Ugi participated in called Reset. Oh. Strong guitar. So I don't even coming up with some sung lyrics. Oh, Mion, your beauty. Oh my God, that hit me out of nowhere. That sounded so beautiful. Wow. comes in out of this world This is always tea type shit. Wow, 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 wow. That song was emotional as can be. The lyrics again told a beautiful little story again. And I. I am so amazed by this chorus and the way that Mion's part comes in. I said that three times now, but I cannot wrap my head around it. It is so beautiful. Damn, Reset is a banger on the beautiful side, honestly. Oh, I love that song. The guitar is beautiful. The vocals shine. The story delivers it. So, so, so good. Reset another great freaking song my god these girls are on fire again on this album I freaking love it let's continue Sculpture uh, is next uh, which again then was worked on by Mini and Soyon I think Soyon was like an all of them but I'm pointing out the ones who are different ones Playful song. Whenever she raps, I get happy. She's so good at it. And she's not hiding it. You go, Shua. Let's go. Oh. Oh. 
I love this heavy punching beat. The lyrics are telling a uh, sad and dark story this time, though, if I understand it correctly. But the melody is nice. Change up from crazy to madly. Ooh, these lyrics, man. I mean, the song was really nice, but the story and the lyrics were hard. This whole song talking about like the obsessive love over somebody to the point where you value themselves much higher than you. I think one part it said something about like, um, it's okay if I lose myself, if I if I'm loved by you. So like, it's all fine. I can break down. I don't matter. I just want to get your love. That's like, that's usually what leads into really, really toxic and like gaslighting relationships that usually don't really end well. So this whole song is about a really, really serious topic. And I'm just so amazed. They're still an idol band and they touch topics, I think, that most groups wouldn't even dare touch which is just that they have my mad respect about talking about like real problems like this in a song like this this is just amazing and outstanding i think Alrighty, um let's I f head into i think our final song already right we uh still have one song left it's dark x file and ugi worked on it so let's head over let's go Dark X file. What is this one gonna be like? And what kind of story? I love their storytelling in this album. It's really, really good. I do not need the double lyrics though. Okay. Are we talking about the same joints here? on this one mm. this like ref sound on Ubi's voice definitely makes her sound dark, yes.
this song just wow that part and then you have this cute look at Ubi right there that I just cannot take my eyes off man bro that sounds really really like a really weird psychic like not psychic but like I can't really describe it there's there's a 13 a certain vibe about the song that stands out so much wow in general just such a great album honestly i got lost lost uh, lost so often in the lyrics and they were their storytelling through the lyrics and the message the messages i can't talk anymore I, this is my last recording for the day the messages messages my god that they have delivered here are not only important but also like very dark like some of these topics are very dark and and in general idol is a group i think that usually isn't afraid to touch upon those topics but especially in sculpture dude that was something that was really really harsh topic and they delivered it so beautifully as well. My goodness, I love. Great album from the first to the last song. All around, really, really good album again. I, I, I love these girls for a reason. I, I love their music so much. And it's always, always touching, always. It's always a journey to listen through their albums. That is definitely, that to this day, keeps me being a fan and also just my love that I have for them. Guys, definitely let me know down below what's your favorite song of I Love. Uh, I gotta end this recording now and go to bed, it's 2 a.m. Guys, thank you so much for watching and staying through this album with me and listening to it with me. Guys, thank you so much. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
Oh, what 